And here he is, minus the 25 pounds he gained for Super Size Me, Morgan Spurlock, Thank you. whose uh, new movie documents the last Hollywood taboo, the code of silence that pervades Hollywood whenever the topic of product placement comes up. And um, web cameras can see uh, how you're dressed, but you are, you're worse than a NASCAR driver, man. You're <laughs> Well, it's like NASCAR form. It's NASCAR chic. Like, if I was going to the NASCAR prom, this is what I would wear. It's, it's a gorgeous embroidered suit jacket with the names of all the sponsors who place products on your film, which is called Palm Wonderful Presents the Greatest Movie Ever Sold. Just rolls off the tongue. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So tell me the premise of this. You, de you decided you were going to finance an entire movie just by placing sponsors' products in the film. Yeah, the whole goal was to use product placement as a jumping off point to look at the whole world of marketing and advertising. And so the film is actually paid for from start to finish by marketing and advertising. So we had brands come on. Like first, when we got the idea, first we said, well, we should call advertising agencies. These guys have the keys to the kingdom. Let's call all those guys. So we called every advertising agency in New York, LA, San Francisco, Chicago, Colorado. None of them would help us. Only one agency in New York would even deal with us. So then we called all the product placement companies. And not one product placement company anywhere in the country would be a part of this movie. Why not? What do, they, what do they say? Well, because they were just, they, they were just like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna just like you know, supersize our industries? I just oh. think you're gonna do, buddy. Yeah. Uh, like one guy in LA actually said, he goes, I will shut this movie down. This movie will not happen. <laughs> right. And so then after that, we we're like, okay, great. Well, we should just call the companies ourselves. Let's uh, let's embrace our own destiny. Let so me guess, you didn't start with McDonald's. No, but they were on the list. No, <laughs> they, they were. were. <laughs> of course they were. You know, so because like, we called 600 companies, you know, in every single category, and the goal was wow. to make like a documentary blockbuster, a docbuster. So we could have all of these promotional partners, you know, helping us get the word out. And you can't have a blockbuster without a fast food partner. Like you got to have a happy meal. You got to have a kid's meal. And so we called up McDonald's like one, two, three, four times. Me leaving messages every time. Yeah. Like, Brrr. hey, it's uh, Morgan Spurlock calling. I promise it'll be completely different this time. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a real different experience for you guys. Yeah, you should right. do it. You know, never called back. You yeah. know, but Burger King called back. Taco Bell called back. <laughs> Wendy's called back. All of them said no. They wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah. So at that point, we said, okay, great. We can't get a fast food partner. Big gulps, collector cups. That's what we need. We need to get Slurpees. <laughs> so then we called Seven Eleven. No. Circle K. No. Wawa. No. Sinclair. No. And so then a friend of mine in my office said, what about Sheets? Sheets, which is a regional convenience store chain based uh -huh. in like Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maryland, West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina. <laughs> I said, sure, what about Sheets? So we go meet with them, pitch them the idea, and you see them in the film. Now when the movie opened, it just opened this past Friday, we've got, you know, greatest movie ever sold, Collector Cups, in all 400 Sheets locations. First time ever documentary with Collector Cups. <laughs> yeah. McDonald's <laughs> is kicking themselves now. That's right. They're going, ah, you got us again. So look at this. You've got JetBlue, Hyatt. Old Navy. Greatest hotel you ever experienced, greatest clothes you'll ever wear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Man. You know, I think you man, thought... Man, greatest deodorant you'll ever use. <laughs> you... <laughs> I've you... never smelled so fresh as I do in this room right now. Let me just tell everybody, you can't smell it at home, but let me just say... I think I smell fresh. Here's the I deal, think three though. times fresh. You think that you are going to be you're going to send them up. I think they've completely sent you up. I mean, oh, I think they've exposed you. I think I think we have I think we have we have we have we have equally used one another in this process. <laughs> it has been uh we have both uh, you know pimped and prostituted each other and it's been great. And how do you feel about it? Do you feel dirty? Uh, so I, I, if we had like, there was they all wanted when we were doing the contracts they all wanted final cut of the movie like every single brand oh, they wow. sent us contracts Did they to get which it? absolutely not one company not really? one yeah. company got final cut of the film and so for me I would feel much dirtier if like they were telling me how to edit the film which they couldn't tell us one frame so I I noticed that you, of all the products though there's only one in your title. Well, because they bought the above the title naming rights. Okay, so that's and did you have a bidding war between various? Uh, I mean, did Hyatt and JetBlue try to compete with Palm Wonderful? No, there were a few that were interested. But Palm wanted uh, they want. We went to them to be the official beverage, and they said, "Well, what about the above the title sponsorship? Like, who's getting that? What is that Brand X? Because yeah. we're pitching them, and it says Brand X presents the greatest movie ever sold." And they said, "Well, we're selling the above the title sponsorship for a million dollars." And uh, so it was first they come paid first. A it was first come first. And so they so, well, they paid us six hundred grand. The other four hundred thousand is tied to benchmarks we have to achieve over the course of. The Thank you, by the way, for the samples of Palm Wonderful, which you yeah. It is the studio. Studio. Mm, greatest it's antioxidant. Delicious. It's the greatest antioxidant you'll ever drink. <laughs> yeah. All right, so did anybody get to sponsor the plot of the movie? No. No, so they, you well, kept they, control well, of the plot. We kept control of the plot, the direction that's in there. You know, you start to see us negotiate with them, how we're going to integrate them into the movie, what do they want. I mean, what you start to see is the fact that when you're making film, you're making television, the minute you get involved with a brand, there is not a 50% chance, there's a 100% chance they will influence content on in some way. And yeah. I think seeing that process happen, getting into those rooms and those conversations, the negotiations is incredible. 